The bat's echolocation. Although bats can see, in order to sense their surroundings in the darkness of night, most species use echolocation, determining the distance of an object by means of reflected sound. For example, some bats can distinguish a mosquito from a beetle by the speed of the insect's wing beats. Consider. Most bats produce pauses of sound in their larynx and project them through their mouth or nostrils. They use their large ears to detect the echoes produced when the sound waves rebound off objects. These echoes enable a bot to build a mental 3D image of its surroundings. The bot is able to determine the location, elevation, and distance of an object, even amid the noise clutter produced by other bots. The bot's echolocation needs to be extremely precise because an error of just one millisecond, one thousandth of a second, could cause the bot to miss its target by as much as 17 centimeters or 6.7 inches. According to some researchers, a precision greater than one millisecond appears impossible. Yet, experiments suggest that bots have an echo time precision of 10 nanoseconds. 100 millionth of a second, enabling them to determine distances with an accuracy of a millimeter or even less. Researchers have developed an electronic cane that uses echolocation to help blind people visualize their surroundings and avoid obstacles, including those at head height such as protruding tree branch, a major inspiration for the work was knowledge of the impressive capabilities of echolocating bats, state Brian Hoyle and Dean Waters, two of the designers of the so-called bat cane. What do you think? Did the bat's extraordinary echolocation ability evolve, or was it designed? The Remora Sucker the remora, a type of sucking fish, is able to attach itself firmly to other sea creatures and then detach itself with ease and without harming the host. These abilities have intrigued researchers. Consider, the remora attaches itself to rays, sharks, turtles, the remora feeds on parasites and its host left over food, all the while enjoying a free ride and protection from predators. Whales and other sea creatures, regardless of the texture of their skin or shell. Researchers are studying the remora sucker or suction disc to see how it enables the fish to attach itself gently but firmly to a variety of surfaces. The remora's oval-shaped suction disc is located on the back of its head. The disc has a fleshy outer lip that forms a tight seal to maintain suction. Within the disc, rows of flaps have tiny, rigid spines. When the flaps are erect, the spines make contact with the host skin, creating friction. This combination of suction and friction keeps the remora firmly attached regardless of the host speed or sudden change in direction. Impressed by the remora's adhesive disc, scientists have designed an artificial one. Their oval-shaped device can attach to a variety of surfaces. When the researchers tried to pull it off, it held on even against forces equal to hundreds of times the weight of the disc. Technology based on the remora sucker has many possible applications. These include use as a research target for sea creatures, use in deep ocean studies, and use as a means of attaching lights or tools to the underwater surfaces of bridges or ships. What do you think? Did the remora sucker evolve, or was it designed?
The structure of the limpet's teeth. The common limpet, an aquatic snail with a conical shell, is equipped with uncommonly strong teeth. They are composed of thin, tightly packed fibers of a hard mineral known as goatite laced within a softer protein base. Consider the limpet's radula, a tongue like appendage, is covered with rows of curved teeth, each tooth less than 1 mm, 3 over 64 inches long, that act like a file. Each tooth needs to be extremely strong and hard so that it can scrape algae from rock surfaces during feeding. Researchers use an atomic force microscope to measure the pulling force that the teeth can withstand before breaking. They found that the tensile strength of the limpet's teeth is the highest ever recorded for a biological material even stronger than the spider silk. The lead researcher stated, We should be thinking about making our own structures following the same design principles. The Slime of the Hogfish Scientists have long been intrigued by a gelatinous slime, or hydrogel, produced by the hogfish. Why the interest? Hogfish hydrogel has been described as one of the softest elastic biomaterials known. Consider The hogfish is an eel-like creature that lives on the seabed. When a predator attempts to eat it, the hogfish ejects a gel from a special gland. This secretion contains mucus-forming proteins and thousands of long threads of other proteins. Together, these proteins turn the water around the hogfish into a viscous slime. This slime clogs the gills of would-be predators, prompting them to disgorge the hogfish and flee. Hogfish hydrogel has remarkable properties. Each of its protein threads is 100 the width of a human hair and is up to 10 times stronger than nylon. When released into seawater, the mixture of mucus and threads forms a structure similar to a delicate three-dimensional sieve. This structure can retain water 26,000 times its own weight. In fact, the slime is almost 100% water. Scientists have been unable to replicate hogfish hydrogel. This natural system is far too complex, says one researcher. Yet, scientists intend to reproduce the protein threads genetically using bacteria. Their aim is to develop a product that is lightweight, tear-resistant, elastic, and biodegradable. Synthetic protein threads could be used to develop sustainable materials for the textile industry and the medical field. Indeed, the potential applications seem endless. What do you think? Did the high-complex structure of hogfish hydrogel evolve, or was it designed?